So not too long ago, I made a video about AI generated content. And in that video, I referenced this specific article that was published in the search engine journal. Now, this article basically talks about how Google is against AI generated content and how it's against their guidelines. More specifically, we have John Mueller claiming that AI generated content falls under their spam category. And so it will be treated as such. But a couple of weeks ago, Google updated its stance on AI content. And this is the announcement. I'll add a link to the description of this video so you guys can check it out on your own time. But there's basically three main things. The first one is that Google is rewarding high quality content, however it is produced. This basically means that they don't really care that we're using AI tools to generate our content as long as the content is high quality. On the flip side, if the content is low quality, regardless of how you're creating it, whether it's automation, whether you're creating it yourself, they're still going to try and punish low quality content as much as possible. And the third thing is that they give pretty direct direct advice for all of those people that are using AI to generate content. And the main thing is talking about EEAT. There's a couple of new things here that I want to talk about in just a second. So to answer the question, can Google detect AI content? Most likely the answer is yes, as of right now, but as the technology develops, it's going to be harder and harder for them to detect it. But the second and probably more important question is, does it even matter if they can detect it? And from their announcement, it seems like all they care about is the content quality. And they're telling us that there is actually a way of using AI to generate content that won't be punished inside of Google. So what does this type of content look like? Well, there's already quite a few big websites and blogs that are doing this and they're open about their use of AI. Here's an example, CNET.com, massive, massive website. If you check the author byline, we can see a little message that says this article was assisted by an AI engine and reviewed, fact-checked and edited by our editorial staff. Second example here, Bankrate.com, also a pretty big website. If we highlight over the byline, the article was generated using automation technology and thoroughly edited, so on and so forth. And the final example here, creditcards.com, again, another massive website. We check on the author, it just says creditcards.com, but when we click into it, we're gonna see that the content published under this author byline is generated using automation technology. So it's interesting that they're so upfront about that content. We're gonna talk about why that is in just a second, but it is important to consider whether these pages are actually getting any traffic, right? Obviously, there's a lot of things that are involved in the traffic equation inside of Google, but it'll be a great sign if any of these articles which are openly talking about the fact that they're AI generated are getting any traffic at all. So if we head over to Ahrefs here, let's check on the CNET one, not too much traffic and not too many keywords. Maybe it's too specific. Again, a lot of different things that we need to consider. The bank rate one seems to be getting a little bit more traffic, but the creditcards.com one seems to be getting a solid amount of traffic, a thousand clicks a month. So it does seem that Google is actually rewarding high quality content, not really caring about how it was produced. So let's talk about how we can create content with AI that Google will like. And the first thing is we need to focus on quality. And as I'm sure we all know by now, there's very few instances where we can actually produce long form content with AI without any human intervention, right? So pretty obvious advice here is make sure that the content is being reviewed and edited by a human, ideally an expert on the topic. And perhaps there will be a point in the near future where we won't have to, but for now, human intervention and assistance is essential to take an average blog post that was generated by AI into a high quality piece of content. The second thing I want to talk about is we need to follow EEAT. And again, for those of you that don't know, it stands for experience, expertise, authority, and trust, where trust is the most important one. I'll add some tips here on this side of the screen for some basic things that we need to do to take care of EEAT. But I do recommend that you guys go deeper and check out the guidelines that Google has for EEAT. Not only is it going to give you a really good idea of whether your content is hitting all the right marks, but on top of that, there's a new section that references AI content. Content. So let's check that out. Once we're in the documentation, we need to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says, ask who, how, and why about your content. And so the who is pretty straightforward. Google basically wants us to talk about a reputable author that we have, add that author maybe in a byline or even create an author page for that person where we talk about why they're a reputable author, their experiences and their background that allows them to talk about that specific topic. Now, the why is also pretty straightforward. We just have to talk about why our users are gonna get value from the content that we're creating and why it should be on Google. Again, this should be pretty straightforward, just with the content itself should be high quality. And the last one is the how, which is actually probably the most interesting bit because it actually references AI. And there's actually a couple things here. The first one is that not only do they talk about the different forms of AI created content, which includes automated, AI generated, and AI assisted content, but they also have this specific section where they say that if automation is used substantially to generate content, this is what you should be doing, right? The main thing here is that you should be disclosing to your users the fact that you are using 
using automation or AI in some form to create that content, provide some background on how you're doing it, and also explain why it's been useful to produce content, right? And so it does seem like Google is preferring honesty when we're using AI in our content. And from the examples that we just covered, those massive websites, CNET, bank rates, and so on, it also seems that mixing that in with some reputable and real authors and editors and reviewers, that seems to be doing the trick to get some solid EEAT in our content. And so in conclusion, guys, don't worry too much about Google detecting how you've made your content, but instead stay focused on creating high quality content that provides as much value as possible to your users. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. I'll see you in the next one.